And hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Satisfactory 1.0. I am Dennis. I am the Paleo Gamer, and we're about to try to hit um, get our Tier One factories set up. I um I think I've got the audio issues that were left over from last time cleaned up, but we'll see. Okay. What I have need I need concrete. Let's go ahead and use what I got. Concrete, iron plates, and iron rods. And this will unlock, will hopefully unlock um, foundations. Can I build any, can I build biomass yet? Yes, we can build biomass. I will build a factory to do this very, very soon, but right now I want to get what I'm using a little more efficient because I'm going to be using these soon. So let's just let this churn for a bit. Then when you... Okay, that's all I need to do right now. I just need to be able to fix my two biomass burners that I've got set up. Okay. Where are you? There you are. Okay, this should last a good bit long. What did I just do wrong? Okay, I guess it went down. Okay, what I need to do next, well, I just, are you done? Okay, let's get rid of you. And I can't get rid of you because you're powering something else, and I'll get rid of you. Okay, because I got a weird power cabling now, but all this stuff's going to change eventually. So for right now, I need rods and plates. There's plates. Rods are up here. Okay. And let's go build, get a concrete thing going. My concrete is over here somewhere. There it is. I need all this stuff so I can get a production line going for power in a minute. I do want to get my power going before I start expanding outward. Okay. Just grab that. Uh, pick up the whole thing. Okay. Let's aim you out this way. I'm missing concrete. Great. The thing I was getting ready to build. Okay. That's fine. I mean, that's why we, we're doing this. Okay. Because not very efficient in concrete. Okay. That should be enough for right now. smelter, you just need a constructor. So we'll set you up. And have you make concrete. There we go. And you start storing it over here. Nothing's level, which bucks the crap out of me, which is why I need to get my foundations up and running. And need to run some power up here. You're useless now. You're useless now, so let's see if I can be a little more efficient. You just run up here, and then we'll hook up you two. There we go. Okay. 
Okay. Are we getting concrete? Alright, there is the limestone. I guess I could put that extra limestone I've got in here. Great. You're now producing concrete. And there we go. Okay. You'll take care of yourself. And while I'm at it, how's our power grid looking? Max consumption 35, capacity is 40. Okay, that's going to be a problem very, very soon. So let's just set up some power plants. Seems to be some space. What's this? Uh, normal limestone node. Okay. Hello, boars. And another limestone node. useful once I get to um, get conveyor mergers and splitters and that sort of thing going. He said for your place to put a power plant that's not gonna be oh I can't put it there because I want to build a limestone factory there. Okay. Okay, this looks like a good area. Let me clear it. Uh, what's that over there? It's still a good area. I'm going to do it here. I'm going to need some more reinforced beams soon, too. Or not reinforced. Plates. Not beams. Getting way ahead of myself in the tech tree here. Maybe I should wait and build my, um, until I can build this in a foundation, so everything will line up at least, and not immediately replace it. So let's see what we can do. Once you clear the foliage, there's a lot of space here. And it's fairly flat, which is useful. But, okay. I'm getting carried away. Okay. Over here. And those. Okay. Go and feed the machine. Okay, concrete's going to be my problem. May have to go ahead and build a second concrete factory because this one's not going to be fast enough. <sighs> Wasn't there more concrete up here? Or did I imagine seeing it? There's another concrete now. What's this? Oh. There's an iron node here, but it's got a rock I'm going to have to blow up on top of it first. Okay. Well, that's going to be... We'll save that one for a while. For a long while. Okay. But that's iron ore. No. I thought that was... Another iron ore up here. Okay, I thought that was concrete. Okay. Where did I see that other concrete?
Maybe it was north. No, I don't see it here either. Damn it, I, where did I just come across those two other concrete beds? I just imagine that. There it is. Okay. Get a few hundred here, because I think it takes like three to make one. So let's let this chop for a while. I know I could build another factory on that other node. But right now I'm at the, I really want the um, conveyor belts, I'm foundations first. Because it'll be one less thing I'll be rebuilding in the next 15 minutes. So it's probably faster just to I lost it again. Over here. I keep forgetting over here is a thing. Bet it's backing up in there. Because this thing can produce more than that thing can. Or maybe not. Oh, there it is. Yeah, let's just grab all that.
And that's what I get for grabbing something. <laughs> okay. Let's go watch the pod leave. Milestone reached. Several new structures are now available for improving factory organization. Foundations provide a building grid, which makes it easier to manage placement of any structure. In the event that you are experiencing amnesia for all events prior to planetfall, be reassured that memories of beloved humans and or animals would have only been distractions from your important mission. Yeah, and meanwhile my dog is over here lying on my feet while I'm recording this, but okay. We can now build a bunch of new stuff. Uh, lookout towers actually have their use. I've heard people say they don't understand them. If you clean out all the critters in an area, they will respawn unless you have something built there. Lookout towers are relatively cheap to build. And if you kill a bunch of critters and then plop a lookout tower down, they don't respawn. It's good for claiming territory. All of our foundations are here now. And we can build some basic walls. I think that's the main thing we have right now. So while we're waiting for that to come back, I'm going to get my power infrastructure started. And where did I say I was going to do that? Over here. It's going to expand straight out to the east. I'm going to probably have to get some more concrete soon, but we'll go as far out this way as we can before starting. Uh, there's another node up there and another critter. Let's go ahead and take it out. Looks like iron again. Where did it go? There it is. It's another pure iron node. And what's this? Another pure iron node. Okay, we've got iron nodes up here, which means this is going to interfere with where I had wanted to put my other factory. Oh well. So let's try here. This should be enough room, because this doesn't take a lot start by building a foundation grid to put this on. And we're going to use two meter foundations because I found that works the best. That was weird, but okay. And what am I out of? Concrete, of course. Okay. Lizard doggo there. I don't want to prevent him quite yet because he'll try to run into battle against... Um, I'm going to need splitters and mergers, so we're going to make this one next. Go ahead and have all the crate, those I need those, and that's going to be one of the next things I build, so, but that means I have to make some wire manually. That's okay. We're still at the point where it's not too bad to build this stuff manually, and I only need enough to get me building things, so, okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Where was I? Where's my... Uh, uh, where's that long concrete factory? Okay. Now let's head back to wherever I was building that. Okay, right here. Make it five wide instead of three, and I want to start um, setting up my um, hot bar down here. So let's go two, three. Oh, 
one, two, and let's make it four, and six, seven, and nine. Okay. So we got some hot bars set up. And now the secret plates. It never fails, does it? It's okay, there's a whole factory of them over here. Start by putting a pair of storage containers down. Carefully aimed the other way. I guess I could make that four as opposed to five. Oh well. Oh, I know why I did that. And then in front of them, I'm going to put constructors. without overlapping anything. Come on. You can do it. There you go. And one over here as well. Hopefully lined up. cables between these. need to power you. And you're going to eventually power yourselves because I'm going to put in front of you a biomass burner. setup is going to change soon, but for right now, this will work. So I'm going to put a power pole here, connect it to both of you, and then connect both of you to them. And all I have to do is get one of you started manually. Hopefully we should be getting biomass out of both of them, which means they'll both be feeding and powering themselves soon. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to redo that whole setup slightly in a little bit, but I just needed to get that started. And while we're at it, we're going to go over here and take 
all the rest of the leaves and wood that we had had sitting around. We'll go back over here for now. What I'm going to eventually do is once I get solid biofuel, I'm going to merge the outputs of these two into a single stream and um, have it produce the solid biofuel and then feed the power plants from it. And I'll probably have a grid failure briefly while that happens, but we'll live. problem right now in that I don't have enough power pole outlets. Missing wire. Great. Okay. That's going to be the next thing I got to automate. But here we go. at this point. Okay. And go ahead and fill in the neck that piece because I don't need it. I do need the cable, uh, the wire at this point. So we're going to have to wait on it. Now, where's that copper mine? The copper mine is over here. We're just going to pick up the whole thing, and then I want to build a um, foundation here. Because it lets me align to the grid. And then I want to build a miner on it. Copper factory will have to be offset a little bit. I'm missing concrete again. But don't worry, this stuff's getting automated. So I'm having to do less and less of it by hand as we go along. Concrete is going to be the first one I expand. Okay, see, so you're producing one hundred and twenty per minute. But smelters can only process 30 per minute. So your 130 per minute can actually feed four smelters. Okay, 
Where's my power grid? Oh yeah, I was in the middle of doing something down here, wasn't I? Okay, I want to... Um, put a second power pole here. Power poles can only handle three at a time. And again, I'm going to be... That one's overflowed now. Damn it. Okay. Let's bring it here. Take that one off. It's gonna probably crash everything. Yep. Figured it would. And now we can. Yeah, whole grid can restart. So now we have a capacity of 100, and we're only consuming 43. So we're good at the moment. And you don't have enough space yet either to put something else on. So I'm going to have to um, just create a new power pole just so I can have space. claim to be efficient. Because again, we're going to have missing cable. Because again, we're going to have to redo a lot of stuff here at some point. clean all these up eventually. Right now I'm just trying to get enough started that I can get some production going. building cables, so I shouldn't have to build any cable, not cables, wiring, so I shouldn't have to build any more wiring by hand. Here, 
here. My plates and rods are doing quite well at this point. So I'm going to go over here and create two more portable miners because we're going to need those soon. Copper ore just sitting around from somewhere. I'll manually start one of the, the second smelter. This factory is already starting to crowd in on my base here. I need a bunch of screws. So let's build a bunch of screws. I am going to have to start building screws soon. Cables, what I'm waiting on. Or wiring. I keep saying cable. It's not going to get all of it, but it will get me more. So I just have to wait here. So this smelter is backing up too.
you see he's outputting 30 ingots a minute and this guy is only consuming 15 so he can double this guy can feed two of these now that's what we're gonna have to so we're gonna have to deal with all this stuff soon I mean the mine can feed four smelters, and each smelter can feed two constructors. So we're going to need eight constructors at some point to actually fully utilize this. But right now, I don't have the power capacity or anything else to deal with that. I'm going to need splitters and all that first. And that's what I'm trying to work towards the most, getting splitters. Well, how are we? There we go. Milestone reached. Conveyor belts can now merge, split, and lift to save space and enhance the productivity of your factory. Fixit encourages you to consider investing in verticality when it comes to factory logistics. If you feel stressed by this complexity, imagine yourself on the shore of a vast and calm ocean. Breathe in, visualize all the people relying on you. The sea is made of billions of faces, each staring at you with hope and tears in their eyes. Breathe out, feel refreshed and focused on your duties. Okay. Field research is the last thing we're going to do here, because this gets us the man. We can already field part of this. Oh, I can't do anything until the um, hub comes back. But it's time to start rebuilding things. So what I'm going to do over here is I'm just going to turn both of these off by now, for now. That will let the, um, basically the production lines will train over time and I will get everything I need um, out of them. In the meantime, where was that other coal iron? Yeah, they're all over the place. Okay, there's two really close over here. Okay, I can see them now. Okay. Let's clear some landscaping. Now it's time that we're going to have to start thinking a little bit further ahead, which is why I am taking more time to clear off the brush beyond the fact that I'm going to need more and more of this as we go along. I like things to look like they're on the ground. Even though 
I can't get back onto it anymore. All right. Saying these guys were west. He almost fits on one, so we're going to call it one. Okay. Now then. Each of these guys can currently feed four smelters. Because a smelter can take 30. And these guys are outputting 120. Easily distracted. That's why I'm so efficient. But, as soon as I get Mark II Miners, which is not that far away, really, these guys will be quickly upgraded and be producing 240 a minute, which means they'll be feeding eight smelters. Which is going to be a lot more than we can handle. So I need to have enough space for eight smelters in front of them. Each smelter takes a block. So, see that's kind of run out of space, or it starts running into grass. So what I'm going to do, that's now running into interfering with that guy. So we're going to have to look at this a different way. So let's put our two back over here again. And for right now, smelters like this. And I'm out of wire again. guys are doing.
turned these off for right now, but they're still producing because there was a lot of stuff left in the pipeline. So, let's go finish up this level. Why do I have ironing bits? Oh, well. Screws. Okay. I need 300 screws. And just to go, I know I'm going to need more. Let's make like a thousand of them for right now. Now yeah, let's make 500 of them for right now. Just to get this done with. Because that'll be the next set of things I do. Milestone reached. Supply the molecular analysis machine, referred to as the MAM, with local resources to research and develop new technologies. Potential technologies include exploration tools, weapons, and factory buildings. These are essential for maximizing your pioneer efficiency and alignment with Fixit's core pillars construct, automate, explore, and exploit. To advance Fixit's mission, all notable phenomena, resources, technology, or other influence should be investigated regardless of any perceived danger, as stated in the Pioneer contract. Need cable to build the man. So anyway, we finish with Tier 1 at this point. See, Tier 1's done. So we need to move on to Tier 2. Now, we'll get to Tier 2 in a little bit. Uh, for right now, I need to build some cables. And then we'll do the MAM, and we'll see what the MAM research can give us, and then we'll um, start planning for Tier 2. Because it's about time to rearrange things. Now let's go pick up some of this stuff we've been collecting. The remains researched belong to an organism now dubbed the fluffy-tailed hog. It has many characteristics that would likely classify it among the Suidi family were it native to Earth. Hog remains can now be made into alien protein, and additional research may reveal options for improving pioneer safety during exploration. Okay, so we're going to go over here. Because we can now make hog protein. And I'm going to make some biomass just because I need it. Okay, because now we can research.
Research completed. Alien protein can now be turned into biomass or alien DNA capsules. In addition to being used for research, the invaluable alien life form data in these capsules can be traded for fix-it coupons at the awesome sink. We guarantee the best capsule to coupon exchange rate anywhere on this planet. See, I don't have any of that. I don't have any of that. I don't have any of those. So I can't do any of those. So we're kind of stuck right now where we are. Let's look at nutrients. We found everything. I thought. There we go. This fruit, dubbed the pale berry due to its tendency to stay light in color even when ripe, is compatible with the human digestive system and has been added to the object scanner. Further research is available. This mushroom, dubbed bacon agaric due to its uncanny resemblance to raw bacon, is compatible with the human digestive system and has been added to the object scanner. Further research is available. Okay, that's all we can redo right now, because we need more stuff to do anything else. But we are also ready to start Tier 2. Tier 2 gives us part assembly, which gives us the assembler. Obstacle clearing, which gives us solid biofuel, which is actually what I'm going to prioritize because of the power use. Um, because solid biofuel is the best power we have right now. Resource sink will give us the awesome sink, which gives us a lot of updates. And that will let us use our full capacity of our miners, because right now our miners cannot get function at full capacity. Um, so because of that, I think that's got to be our priority right now, plus three of the four items we're already producing. So, All right, so we're started on level two hub. So I'm going to, we're at an hour again, which is where I try to cut these things off. So we're going to stop for now. And um, when we come back, we're going to proceed with um, tier two. And maybe at some point we'll get around to building that space elevator. In the meantime, I am Dennis. I am the Paleo Gamer, and I will see all of you next time.